If you are coming to US, then you must know how much you will be earning after masters. So this video is all about how much you will be earning after MS degree in the US and how to increase your salary. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to put a chart from usnews.com stating your starting salary and the average salary of all of your majors. So with that being said, let's start with software engineering jobs because most of you are coming here to become a software engineer. So in the best case scenario, after completing your master's degree in computer science or software engineering, you will be earning around $270,000 a year. And in the worst case scenario, that is your starting salary can be around $72,000 a year. But best case scenario is extremely, extremely rare and that requires very high experience. So let's consider the average case scenario. And in the average case scenario, you will be earning around $100,000 and four thousand dollars a year so these are the salaries but don't worry about it you can earn much higher than that as well so what you need is just experience and how to express your experience so that's the most important skill you need to develop so with that being said let's consider how much university can boost your salary so let's consider uh, Georgia Tech graduate on one side and any other graduate from the top 100 list of universities on the other side. So if you are a Georgia Tech graduate, then your salary as a software engineer will be $86,000 in the worst case scenario or you can say the starting salary after coming out from college. So that is the starting salary $86,000 from Georgia Tech and around $73,000 from any of the top 100 list. So universities are like a trampoline. So you, if you push harder, then you can fly higher in the air. So that's the simple logic. So if you are willing to put effort and work harder, then you can jump harder and cover this gap. So that's the logic. So if you are able to express yourself better than a better than a Georgia Tech graduate, then you will have a better salary for sure. So I can give you some tips now. So let's say that by working hard, you cover the gap and get a good internship. So after completing your internship, you can ask your employer for a full time offer. Not just that you can do internship for a company two times, maybe do a co-op at a company and co-op is around three semesters. And after co-op, most of universities, I mean, most of the companies, startup companies mainly are willing to give you a senior developer or senior software engineer position. So that can increase your salary to a great, great amount. So that can boost from 70K to 130K as well. So that's a really good way how you can build up your salary right after your master's. So try to do internships. And once you know how to express your skill level, once, uh, once you know how to give your pitch in front of your employers, and once you also know how to make a really good resume. So for resume, you can put numbers because if you imagine like an employer, he just wants you to be very, very productive. So you can give numbers instead of saying, I did so and so at a company, I did so, at a, uh, I did so and so at a project. You can say that I completed this project, which was expected to be done in 400 hours, I did in 200 hours. I'm just giving an example. Numbers can be different and do not lie in your resume at all so this can be a great tip and also you can participate in competitions related to your major you can participate in hackathons math competitions, physics competitions and all that and that can help help you in building up a better resume for sure as well i think that covers everything so i'm pretty sure that now you are willing to put the work into no matter what university you are going and you can definitely get a higher salary. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.